TDAP is a booster that contains tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis. We have seen a rise in pertussis in North Carolina, so it's very important for people to get this vaccine. Pertussis is also known as whooping cough. It is a bacteria that all of those are bacteria that can get into your system and cause health problems, especially with your respiratory tract. Uh, it, can, it can cause increased coughing, uh, trouble breathing. Uh, also tetanus is also known as lockjaw, which could tighten up the muscles in your body as well. We have seen a rise in pertussis in North Carolina, and it's been pretty significant. Uh, North Carolina state law changed in 2008, which required all rising sixth graders to actually receive the Tdap because we did see an increase in pertussis. Well, sixth grade, of course, it's a lot of different changes. These kids are moving from elementary school now to the middle school. Uh, this is kind of the age group where they start to interact a little bit more with each other. They have school groups, they have sports groups. They're in close, confined areas with, with each other a little bit more often. Uh, children, especially uh, children for kindergarten, were required also to receive a vaccine that was similar to Tdap. It had the same antigens, but it was in a different, it was called DTAP instead of the Tdap. And, and so what they believe is that the immunity is actually waning a little bit, and around this age is a good age for them to actually get this Tdap. The North Carolina State Immunization Program has opened the program to have everyone receive Tdap. Uh, at this point, because there is an uh, increase in pertussis in our community, we want the parents, we want siblings, we want grandparents, anyone to receive this Tdap vaccine that is eligible for this. Right now, Tdap, the, it, according to immunizations laws, is that you're only going to need one Tdap. Uh, of course, things can change, uh, but right now that's what's recommended. There are exemptions in North Carolina. You can have a medical exemption or a religious exemption. Uh, of course, for medical exemptions, you have to apply to the state and they have to give you that medical exemption. Uh, so if you have a child that uh, is having issues, uh, they would need doctor's approval to be exempt from this vaccine. We do have walk-in hours, however, uh, during this time of the year, it is a very busy, children are going back to school, uh, and we have a large number of sixth graders. In Wake County, we have approximately 10,000 students that are in the public school system, so if you can imagine having the health department in our satellite locations, uh, we get very busy at this time of the year, so the earlier the better. And the hours for our clinics are 8.30 to 5.15, however those may vary in different locations and when, you're, when you call to make that appointment, you can, you can choose an appointment time. We have satellite, we have our outlying uh, clinics that we have some in Fuquay, Wake Forest, Raleigh, uh, and Zebulon. And so they can call 919-212-7000 and ask for their, their health department in their area and they can schedule an appointment there. Well, the Tdap vaccine is mandatory for all rising sixth graders across the state, health officials advise and encourage anyone to get this shot. Hey, Michelle, I'm ready.